Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and on today's video, we're going to take a trip to Kenya. And now, a little background, right before COVID happened, I took two separate trips to Kenya. One of the trips, I took a shaker table with me and demonstrated some mercury-free gold recovery. And on the other one, we went around and donated some sluices to the locals to try and eliminate the use of mercury in their local gold mining. Our journey starts in Vancouver, BC, where we hop in a plane and fly for about 24 hours to Nairobi, Kenya. Once in Nairobi, we hop in a car and drive across the country to the west to Migori. On the map, it says the drive takes about seven hours when in actuality, it takes about 12. But once we arrive in Migori, we are ready to set up the shaker table and recover some gold. Hi, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals. And today we're in Migori, Kenya. We have just arrived at the mining site and starting to unpack the shaker table and all the tools that go along with it. We have some folks over here leveling it out an area and we will put it next to this settling pond and sluice. We have a couple of ponds that we'll use for water for pumping up to the water bars on the shaker table. And with all this help, I think it will go fairly quickly. One, two, three. Cool, not too heavy. Okay, ready? Okay, we have just got everything all set up and we're going to get it plugged in. Julius is going to plug it in and the table will go. Here we are presenting the Mount Baker Shaker Table. And you can see in the picture is Steve and Jason. Jason is a young man, Steve is the father. We're going to start running some material and you will see the gold coming out here. We build the shaker table in the United States. The ore goes in here. The waste material flows down. The gold is cut in the grooves. And moves across the table this way. The gold then comes down here. The gold then comes down here. And into here. And into here. And into here. And And into here. And into here. And into here. And into here. And And into here. And into and most important, no mercury. No mercury. So the local miners are putting ore onto the shaker table and this woman in the blue coat with the yellow bucket was the first in line. And so she's running her ore on the shaker table and she is very, very happy because it's going so much faster than it would normally go the way she was doing it before the shaker table. So she is very, very excited that she can process her materials so much faster. And as you can see, there's quite a crowd starting to gather around the shaker table. We're draining the water down into this first tailings pond, where the tailings are settling out. And then the water is running down this ditch, and we're pumping the clean water back up to the shaker table. And this guy's cleaning out his ball mill. I think we're going to bring this ore up to run on the table. And now the sulfides going the right way? Yep, the sulfides are doing good. They're forming a band going down into the middlings, into the bucket. And in a minute, I will after I've done with this, I will turn the table off and we can see if there's gold up here under the water bar. Okay. 
This guy's making a little feeding trough for our shaker table. Oh, I'm recording. And he's he's uh, taking the steel sheet and he's cutting it with another piece of steel. Looks like an old knife or trowel or something. The trough was a significant improvement for feeding the shaker table and the issue we were having is they need to have their ore dry to get crushed through the ball mill but it needs to be damp or wet to go onto the shaker table so it doesn't float away and so having the trough allowed us a platform to wet the ore down before it got into the distributor trough and then it would float nice and even down onto the shaker table without any loss of values. Let me shoot it on the video. Yeah, she's off. Uh, it's like a Miller table. See the gold? <laughs> right, the lady oh. here. Very good. Wow. Say you want to engage in some mining? Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying. At the end of the day, the gold concentrates were taken over to these women who used mercury, unfortunately, to amalgamate the gold so they could take it to the gold buyer. How much do you think you get? How much? One gram? This is one gram. 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 One gram is a very good day it's working, right? Yes. So this is one of the shafts here in Magori. And I don't know how far it goes down, but several meters, tens of meters maybe. This is where they come out and hand sort. So this is all their dumps. And the women have a little pit over here. This woman's carrying a small child on her back. So these women are not allowed to go underground. And so they have to scavenge the dump piles on the surface and they're working together and they put it in these sacks and then they will take it over to the ball mill to crush it and then sluice it. So the women really scavenge what they can from the surface. But here's the here's the country rock some kind of schist metamorphosed sedimentary rock. We're gonna 
take a tour down the shaft here. And this gentleman here is gonna take us down. And there's no ladder, we just have to go down the lagging along the side. How, how far down? Uh, 60 feet. Down. 60 feet, so 20 meters or so. Okay, good, yeah, good. So we'll go down here, when we get to the bottom, I'll see if I can, see if I can get any light to take some video. Okay, we're underground now, going down the drift. So you come, you step somewhere there. Uh huh. So there is a soft here. Uh huh. So you take care. Yes, like that. Yeah, so there's another little shaft there. Yes. And it just comes slowly by slowly, there is a soft by the side. This is shaft. So you make yourself, you support yourself with this one. And so they have it all oh, lagged up on top. Okay. Just come there. And some timber around the, the edge. Yes. Yeah, so okay, so we're down, I don't know, what do you think? 40 meters now underground? Yeah. And this is this is the reef they're mining. It's probably uh, three or four inches. And there's um, a little, quite a bit of mineralization in it. The hanging wall and the foot wall look like kind of decomposed schist or... And then you can see it go, it continues down under there. And they're just following this down. It probably dips at 45 degrees. And uh, do you know what the grade is, George? Yes. Uh, f four grams a ton or more? Uh, this, this suit is slightly above four, four grams. Four, four or five grams, six grams a ton yes, on average. And they, they take these buckets and pans and fill them up with ore and then take them back up and up the shaft. So here's, here's down the shaft a little farther. It's actually kind of a winds. It's going down about 45 degrees, following the vein. So this is, so you, you are now working right here. Oh, the, yeah, it got, it got big. So the vein now is probably uh, uh, 25 centimeters. Wow, look at that. So this is, this is your working face right here. Uh-huh. And this is about 20 grams per ton. Yeah. And then you've drifted. It looks like you've stoped a little bit that way. And then they're, they're opening up a stope. It's hard to focus in the dark, but there's a stope all the way kind of here. And they've stockpiled their waste in the, in the old stope. And so this is, this is your working face right here. This is where you're working. Uh-huh. And it's it's uh, pretty good grade, uh, uh, twenty grams per ton. Yeah. And are you drilling and blasting? Yeah, you're just drilling. Just, drilling. Uh, uh huh. By hand or by machine? Hand, by hand. By hand. Yeah. Wow. And how many kilograms per day? Soil, the rock. You mean? Yeah. You get like uh, uh, 200 kilograms per day? Yeah. yeah? Uh huh. In a day's work? Very good. So it looks like the veins, the vein pinches up slope, and they've found a spot here where it kind of swells out to maybe a foot or a foot and a half, and it looks like it's pretty good quartz. Yeah? So he's got a flashlight banded to his head. And he's down here with a hammer and chisel. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. And he's just hammering away.
and this guy is 19 years old. Can you take a photo? You? Oh. It's very hard, Solomon. Oh, it's it's hard, hard, hard quartz. Yeah. Hold the phone. Okay. Yeah. We are in Kenya, in Magori, near Magori, Kenya. <laughs> Mining underground quartz veins, reefs, they call them reefs here. Like the Australians. Okay, Solomon, thank you very much. Mm. Okay. This is a man who came up from underground with a sack of ore. And this is their jaw crusher in Kenya. And he's crushing it down. You see the gravel size that he's crushing it to. And this will go directly into the ball mill. And this is all by hand with a hammer. And then he will take it over here to the ball mill. She is putting her ore in. A couple, two or three sacks of ore go in the ball mill. And this is the material that comes out the bottom of the ball mill. It does a pretty good job of crushing, maybe 20, 20 mesh minus, a little, a few bigger pieces. Over here, this is where the ore comes up damp and they dry the ore on these tarps because it needs to be dry to go in the ball mill. This woman over here, I think, is drying her ore. And they may wait two or three days to run their material. Screen on so the balls stay in. And he has a wedge. And this guy is his oar. And the guy in the green shirt is the operator. And he's going to go and engage the clutch and disengage it so it falls around and drops oar out the bottom. Oftentimes after the ball mill is done crushing, it passes off to the women who take the crushed ore and run it down these homemade sluices with usually nothing more than burlap. 
Once the ore has been sluiced, they will use mercury on the concentrates to recover the gold as a gold sponge amalgam and take it to the gold buyer to sell and get paid. Is it okay? Can I take your picture? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This woman has just panned her concentrates down and you can see the mercury in the pan. Is it okay? Yeah? So this is how they do it. She's rubbing the mercury around. You can see it beating up. She just panned down all the stuff off the top. And she has her mercury. And she has, looks like a steel washing dish or washing pan. And I'll try and get a video of her squeezing the mercury out through a rag. So this woman has come back now with her linen cloth. Is that mercury in her bottle? Yeah. yeah. So she's going to take the amalgam in her pan and wring it out in that cloth. comes the mercury. <laughs> you, you speak Swahili or a local language? No, next week. Uh -huh. He doesn't speak it that much, just the local language. Yeah, so just the local language. Okay. And there's... There is it. You don't give me a beer. You don't give me a How much gold is that, Solomon, you think? A couple... How much gold is that, Solomon, you think? A couple... Yeah, it's zero. It's zero. Yeah. So it's 0 0.15 grams, approximately. 0 0.15 grams. Yeah. So a tenth of a gram. Yeah. Approximately. Yeah. And then what, what, what? will what will she do with that? Okay, for it to go to the yellow color of gold, she has to heat it. Yeah, yeah, she has to burn off the mercury. Yeah. Yeah. Then it will go to the yellow color. Yeah, go to the yellow color, yeah. Then that is when it's being bought by some people here. We have some, uh, I don't know how to went to call it the uh, brokers or who, but they buy them, they take it. Uh -huh. yeah. And so will she, does she burn that off uh, like on an open fire? Yeah, just an open fire. Will That's she do that point. now or will she wait till tonight? No, until when they'll get to where... I uh, uh, Can you do with her until where she'll be selling it? Yeah, say again? Can we go with that? Yeah. Where should be selling? Yeah, let's I would like that. to. Yeah. Inyadi, inyadi, who's the one? What the one? So let's go and see. Let's go. So how, how how much ore did she run? What, one sack or two sacks? Let me help. Me or more? Man, only long one. Yeah, me. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to Okay, like, uh, of, let me call it sacks, but it's about eight sacks now. Eight, eight sacks? Yeah. So she got one point, or Just point... that is what she got. She got 0.15 grams yeah. from eight sacks. Yeah. And a sack weighs 50 kilograms? Yeah. I think that's just because these are, it's not more efficient. The, what they use there is not more efficient. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. But tell me the numbers again, because I don't know the figure. So a sack so, is... So, uh, a sack is about 50 kilograms? 
and she ran eight sacks, so about 400 kilograms for 0.15 grams. Yeah, and then she did this this morning. This morning, I this think, is yes. This one this morning's labor. From the, from the sluice. She yeah. ran this down to sluice. She yeah. was the one doing that. She was, okay, here, yeah. when we got here, yeah, she was, she was doing the one, yeah. Okay, very good. Does she have children? The one is just completing the primary school, the other one is uh, completing high school. So she has like a yeah, two, two a, an 18 year old? The one completing high school is 18, 18? the one completing primary school is uh, 12 years. 12 years old. Yeah. And how long has she been mining? So she's been doing it for two years now. Two years? Yeah. Two years, okay, yeah. very good. So this is the, this is the gold buyer and she has brought her amalgam. So currently one gram is about 3,000 shillings. One gram is 3,000 Kenyan shillings? Yeah. Okay. So one gram of amalgam or? Yeah. One gram of So she's yeah, going to okay. put her amalgam in that pan. One gram is one how much? You can see in the pan. She has several. And this little charcoal grill, he burns the mercury off. Right, open air. Hello, children everywhere. Hello, hello. And this guy is burning mercury off right in the open air. So that's what they use in burning. You see? Oh, it's like a little spoon rolled up. Yeah. So it's a spoon, but the tip has been uh, folded. Yes, I see. Yeah. So he's just standing over it, burning the mercury off. Yeah. And there's, ch there's children right here. They're all watching. Because we are Mazungu, we are white people, white man. <laughs> and the children are very interested. Yeah. So he's just, uh, he put his rolled up spoon in there with a little bit of amalgam and is going to burn the mercury off. And then he will weigh it and pay this woman for her gold. What's this woman's name? Monica? Yeah. Monica? Yes. This is Monica from Nagori, Kenya. Solomon, can you can you say, say, tell us what they're doing? They're going to weigh the the gold now? So you know this? The mm -hmm. little scale, yeah. Uh, so they use the scale in uh, measuring yeah. the weight. So he's still setting whether it's balanced. Uh -huh. So he's still balancing. So he's balancing the scale? Yeah. I will go and we need the light. Yeah. So Yeah. 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 She'll come back for the money later. She'll, she'll come back to get paid. Yeah. And how, how long did she work this morning for that much gold? Yeah. 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 And so she will so, come back to get paid. Yeah, yeah. Get paid. That's 600. 600 Kenyan shillings. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh -huh. so, every that's, day. Every day. Yeah. Like every day. Tomorrow. Yeah. So at times she gets 1.5. Yeah. At times 2. At times 2.5 grams. Grams per day. Yeah. So she'll go back and work the rest of the day. No, today she'll not go back. Okay. She'll come back tomorrow. She'll come back yeah, tomorrow. She'll come back tomorrow. Yeah. How how much gold does he buy in a day? Do you yeah. do you know roughly? He takes up to 80 grams a day. 80 grams a day. Eight. eight. Oh, eight. Eight yeah. grams. Okay. Eight. So that's about what he he gets yeah. per day from the local miners. Okay. And how many gold buyers are there around here? Is he the only one? So there are three. Three. In this, in this area, three yeah. three gold buyers. Okay, yeah. okay, very good. And and oh, everyone comes here to these three, either of these three. Yeah, just those people around this place. Here are the so children. Move the next set down here. And then we have two dollars. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, hello, 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 hello. Yes. So, Solomon, is this nitric acid? 
What's he doing now? Is this nitric acid? Yeah, so he's he's taking his gold buttons and he's using nitric acid and that's that's uh, NO2, the dark, the dark brown gas. And so he's he's getting the rest of the mercury and the impurities out. Yeah. So the wind's blowing that way and there are all the children right down the road from it. So he's cleaning the rest of the amalgam and he's boiling it in nitric acid. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Asante sana, asante sana, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So from, they collect the gold in Magori and then they sell it in Nairobi or Dubai or... Dubai. Uh-huh. And how much gold will they get in Magori before going to Dubai? When we take to them, they give us uh, something to do with the uh, 3,900 a gram. 3,900 per gram as the, as far the price now. 3,900 per gram, okay. But with that one, is with impurities. After it has been purified, it is as if they are, you are given 3,300. Aha, uh-huh, aha. Uh-huh. Because after the, the purity has been, has been deducted. Yes, okay, okay. So it becomes pure. Aha. Uh-huh. So it is as if you are given 3,300. Aha, so, uh-huh, uh-huh. yeah. yes. Yeah. So, so they take like like fifteen percent because yeah. of impurities. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, the yeah. impurities. They use, I yeah. 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 And then, and then, will they take like one kilogram or ten kilograms oh. to Dubai, or or oh, half a kilo? Is, they can get the especially the one who are at Gori can take five kg per, per day. Five per, ki- per, yes, day. per day, per day, per day yes. in Magori. Because they collected some are coming from this way, some are coming from where, some are coming from Rongo. Uh-huh. So they are they are the place. So they can even get ten, ten to five kg per day. To, yeah, per day. And then and then it, every two weeks they take that to they Dubai. Take, they take to Dubai. So, so they will take uh, uh, 20, 50, 100 kilograms yeah. to to Dubai to yeah, sell. Exactly. And and every two weeks they go to Dubai yeah. and then they, they come go back. Dubai, they go to Dubai. Even can, they can make it a, a one month, but so they take many kilos. Uh, many kilos. Yeah. And how in, in in a sack? How do they get it there? Uh, so they make it into jewelry. Yeah. And then they sell the jewelry in Dubai. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. So they go to they go to Nairobi and make jewelry. Yeah. And then they take it to Dubai yeah. to sell. Yeah. Ah, I see. I see. I see. Yeah. So it leaves Kenya as a gold as a gold product. Yeah. Not a gold not gold medal. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Not bullion. Not bullion. Just yeah. as jewelry. Ah. Yeah. So in Migori, is it easy to find a, a buyer, the, the dealer in Migori? How do I find? I want to go to him and see see his five kilos. There, you know, How you Asians that? are not open. You know, are not Asians, open? they are not no. open. No, but can we so, go with you? Can because, I go with you? Because uh, once we go with you, yeah. it is as if they think that you are ready, you are you are uh, searching for something. You see? Ah, uh, yeah. But, you know, but if they I don't, promise they, I'm not. Uh, yeah, they don't pay tax. You know, no. yeah, oh, no tax. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. So once you go and uh, investigate what they are doing, it is yeah. as if are, you are exposing their enemy. Okay, so here's the, the shaft is here. Okay. Okay, now you show us where. So he uh, he shafted down about 20 feet, and then he tunneled over under this road. So under the road and under this church. So they're mining. They're mining under this church. Oh, don't you see? I see, that's the church, yeah? Yes, that is the church. Let me show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like one feet. Oh, there's the, ah, I see, that's where the... But we are not much down. Down, Don't yeah. you see? Past the road. So this is... Past the parking. So where the man is... That's the little pit. You are parking on the track. Down. Sorry. The other side that we go. So the men are, the men are down, down here the somewhere. Man down there. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere here. Somewhere here is where the men are mining now. Oh, where we are. Okay. No, this is it. Okay. Yes. So this far? This far. Is this how you guys go down? Yeah, no, where we, we... We simply went 18. Then we simply went, went, went. Oh, went. Meander. Meandering. They meandered. We meandered. <laughs> and we found it. Yeah, we found it. Oh, you see? Oh, we made it. You made it. Do, are you going to go down? 
No, no, you can't even. Next time. Next time. This time it took me three good years. Yes, three, three years to do three all, years. all by hand. We're cutting this rock. But all by hand. But this one, we have not reached where we are going. This was just a way. Entrance. Should, the oh, entrance. Okay, oh, just the entrance. That's why I say we meander. Okay, we meander, okay. And so, is it, you're, this is no vein? There's no vein here. No vein here, okay. No vein. This was just a, no vein. Okay. We, re, we, we have not reached. Okay, I see, I see. Okay. So this all, are you seeing this all? Okay. This is where when we are soon reaching the bed. The off cast that we uh, just taken from the other side, we yeah. could even take it here, then we transport them back. Ah, okay. I'm seeing. So you stock. So that is why this place is at, at least. Don't so, you see? So you stockpile here. You can stock here. Ah, stockpile here. Okay, okay, I got it. Are we going to stop somewhere? <laughs> yes, no, that was just a way. <laughs> yeah, so, this is the, where the vents yeah, are. This is where the vents this are. This is the gate. Okay, I want to see where the vents are. And I will show you the vents, how big they are. Oh my. So this is now, you see, from 1993. From 1993? Oh, the hanging wall is really good. <laughs> Okay. Uh, don't worry, just come. Don't worry, he says. Okay, no worries. No worries. Oh. The vein, you can even see how big it is. Okay, there's the vein. Yeah, okay. <laughs> don't you see? So what it's about, uh, what, like a half a meter, yeah? And how much, how much gold per sack? Per sack now, it is almost three grams. Three grams per sack? Per, per 50. 50 50 kg. kilos. 50 kg. That's 3 grams. That's 3 grams. It, it, it is even go, uh, more it's than even, uh, it has even reached 6, 20 grams. 20 grams? Of, when we started uh, it. A bag. Know, let me tell you something. It was started the other side where you were parked in 1993. It was found on the other side yeah, of the road. Yeah, outside one feet. Okay. So because of that road yeah. and the church, yeah. the church member never wanted the church didn't want you to mine. To be mine. Okay. So I came and I started it from my own side. And you you, see? you went that under the road. I came with that tunnel. Oh. Are you seeing? Yes. The tunnel itself is over the, the road. The road. Even if a bus can come, it will pass over. <laughs> so so you, I came and I found them here. Don't you see where I've just been? So, so, so where, you. Where are yeah, okay. the, the church? Where is the church? The church is the other side where you have parked. The other side of, oh, of the road. I'll okay. tell you where we are. So you, you, you started on your land and you, I started in you went land down and I you went tunneled the gym, under the road. And I tunneled to meet this shimo. Under the church. And under the church and under the road. <laughs> okay. And I came, personally, I met it here. Aha, uh -huh, you met the vein. Ah, I see. So the vein is here. Okay, so I this see. This is the vein now. This one. Don't you see it? Yes, 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 yes. And Take it, a it, picture. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm taking some video, and so oh, this. Are you taking? Oh, you have your phone. Yeah, I have my phone, and so this this vein has uh, uh, three grams per fifty kilograms. Yeah. So that's sixty grams per ton. Yeah. So that's like two ounces per ton. Let's go there. Very, side. very rich. Very rich. Very so rich. The only thing I think we need here. So we go to the when other side. I, when Patrick came, he found me. I've just built this one to okay. protect our lives. Yeah, because protect your lives. That's good. The other side is a sand field. Is Don't it, you see? It's a sun field? It's a what? A sand field, whatever it was already eaten from 93. Okay. So it is a hole. Oh, so I oh. Said, it's to already been mined. Anything from up cannot come here. I see, I see. Okay, so, so this yeah. one Put is some stalls. With, it, Don't you see that, uh, that um, vein? Yeah. It's also here. Yeah, yeah. It runs one underneath came yeah. before I bed. Okay. So this one will transport it out. Okay, you gotta move this out. From the other yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what is happening. Okay. You come. To me. Okay, yeah, I'll follow you. This is this is good. So it's a nice so little scope. Yeah. It's still here. Okay. But you, they, they took something there. So after building the, 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 there, I left this one to connect this one with this. Okay, okay, Don't I see. Don't you see the vein? Yeah, I see the vein. Very good. Okay. So how are you getting air down there? You come. No air. Come. Joseph, you okay, Joseph? I am okay. Hey, this is a 
tight Even spot here. They're working now. <laughs> They're working now. That's good. Got to keep working. Hey. That's why I told you it was some meters away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going in the. Came. Okay, just come. Okay, yeah. Don't right. worry, there's nothing. I'm too big. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> it's okay. So here's the vein. They under there. came. Don't you see the sunfish is there? They yeah. came. So I left this one to protect this yeah. from this. Yeah, I see, I see. I'm also an engineer. Keep, by keep, keep the hanging wall good. <laughs> Got it. Oh, come, let's come. Men, let's come full slow. Okay. The vein is, the the vein is nice, yeah. Don't you see this vein? Yeah, like okay. This? Good vein. But we, the, we need not to go up. Because go the more we go up, you the come to the you, Yeah. So, the vein is here, down. From the way we left it. All over here. So this, the remains we just collect from this side. Are you uh, are you drilling and blasting? Yeah, we we, we we blast. You blast, yeah, yeah. We blast. Okay. Oh, oh I using see. the nini. Explosives. Ex uh, explosive, uh, yeah, yeah. like uh, baruti. We call it baruti. Baruti. Uh, yeah. This thing uh, made with uh, nini. Okay. Uh, explosive. Explosives. And we need also. Compressor. Compressor, to, yeah. To okay. for us, the, uh -huh. the walls. See, we're just working manually. Manual. Now, oh, we work manual as this man is now working. Okay. But the production will be less. Less. Yeah, less. yeah, yeah. But when well. we have something from where the man is, don't you see the vein? Yeah, yeah. You can come and see. Can, can I get a picture? I want to get a picture with him. Yeah. yeah, let's get a picture. Okay. Yeah. We have, yeah, okay. the, <laughs> we have even a Gorov, a step see? ahead. Ah, I mean, People can work the other side and they okay. can work here so at the same time. Yeah, I see the vein yeah, too. It's a very big vein. Yeah, okay, okay. Can you come up on the other side or we have to go back the same way? Go back. No, we have to go back the same way because happened. Joseph, are you praying? <laughs> <laughs> Joseph is praying. <laughs> Why do you pray? Praying for our safety. Okay, I want to. Can I watch? Can I watch this guy for a minute? So in the yeah yeah ah, hello hello Jumbo Jumbo how are you yeah okay very good let him, let him uh, take a picture yeah okay so this is uh okay so he's got a hammer and uh you you can like this yes yes okay very good yeah okay good 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 the vein yeah there's the vein so it's about a, uh, a third of a meter a quarter of a meter let me the needle here let me. About yeah, one feet. This one yeah I see. Okay. Very big. Don't yeah. you see? I yeah, see no, it's okay. On this yeah. There's no, oh, nobody lying to you. Nobody's lying to me. No, no one's lying. You can see. Yeah, I see it. So this thing is but just here. From here, from the other side we, we came. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. From the side yeah. of my is big. Yeah. From there up to the other side. Yeah, yeah. And okay. we have another step up. Uh huh. Okay. And so, he, so he can work up above uh, two, and two, and two people working. Uh, not yes. two. To allow when we transport all this, yes. yeah. Hmm? Yeah. from where we entered yeah. up to where here we are, yeah. <laughs> how many people can work? Just yeah. From where we are, the, the more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. You go down. It's, you <laughs> we can, go down. You can have a lot of people. The more working. we go down, safer it is than going up. Yeah, yeah. The safer it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so because he's down, none has eaten. Yeah, but yeah. Up, people have talked, uh, people have eaten, people have worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Down is better. Better. So, and in, in, in the in the USA, mm -hmm. we call what he is doing. It's called single jack. Single jack. Have you heard this? Yeah. Single jack. One man with a hammer and chisel. Yeah. We also have double jack, okay. where one holds the chisel and the other one hits with the hits. hammer. Okay. Double jack. Two, double jack. Okay. But this is single jacking. It's very cool. I've never seen this before. It's only in books. You know this one? Yeah. We do it yeah manually, manually because now we don't have the machine. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this man, the way he came, you know. Mm -hmm. After the evening, he must go back with something. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because yeah. he has a family. Yeah, he's so got he a family. So he produce a lot. But when we are with machinery and when we can have that production, yeah. from where he is to where the, yeah, the, the, other, need, the, the, the other bed, where the entrance. Uh -huh, yeah. The entrance, yeah. And we take all the way all this uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. Then we have the jacama. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Drill and blast. And we yeah. blast from the other side up to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many bags can we produce? Yeah, Only yeah. in one blast. In one blast. Lots of bags. How many, how, can he do one bag in a day? With this way? How many bags a day? 
he will take to uh, like today by evening uh-huh. we will have uh, four four bags mm. oh that's pretty good so, uh, by himself wow uh, then four as a company we will take Two. two. Then we will give him two. two. Okay, so you yeah. take half. We, uh, we half. Oh, yeah, very good. Because well, yeah. somebody is working hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is down the line. Yeah, so yeah, see, yeah. That's why I said we are down 240. Don't you? Yeah, uh, down, yeah, me? yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah, okay. And if somebody has labored, you cannot take everything. Uh, sure. Oh, no. Yeah, you have to give the miner. Yeah. So he has to get paid and I feed his family. Yeah, absolutely. You yeah. have to be fair. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, of course, of course. Give us a sample. Give us a sample. Let him give you some sample. Okay, yes. From the notice saying that Joffy gave us something that... He, no, let him give... We are with you. Yeah. Let him give you stones that he has just... Oh, thank you, my friend. Uh, thank you very much. Is this... Uh, am I the first Mzungu that's come down in this hall? You are the first Mzungu to come ca- ah, 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 The first Mzungu. Ah, ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you can make thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm a, the first white person Even in the hall. Even to meet yeah. somebody working. Yeah, yeah. How is oxygen? Yeah. Very nice. It's okay, I'm fine. Yeah. And we don't need oxygen. No, no, no. What we need, when we have a compressor, instead of coming down, because we compress it, and with blasting, we can make a road here. Uh-huh. See, we blast this, then it has, it will be something which is a bit wider. Yeah, wider. And you go easier, to, are, easier to work. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the vein also lies, lies me. Uh-huh. It doesn't uh-huh. stand. Don't you see? Yeah, yeah. You're a mining engineer, the yeah? The lies. Yeah, so uh-huh. these people will go just go with it like this, like this, yeah. until it becomes yeah. very nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. Keep this one in this pocket, then you take the other one. Yeah. No, this is plenty. This is all I need. Yeah, this is lots. Charlie, I don't want to take more. No, this is there. No, this is for feeding up. their you family. Don't go up. Don't go up. He will bring for you. Okay. There's somebody there. Okay. The guy up top will bring it out for me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So we go back. Hey, so congratulations. You are the first Muzungu to be here. First Muzungu. Okay, yes. yes. I, ve- I feel uh, very good. I'm very proud. Because uh. You are not a coward Muzungu. I'm not a coward Muzungu. <laughs> <laughs> you are All taking the risk. They simply reach down up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a coward Muzungu. They don't, they don't know whether they were lying to them or they were saying the truth. But okay. mine is very true. Truth, truth. Yeah. Oh, you want to go first and I'll follow you? Yeah. Okay. I go first. Here. Go fast. Uh, come here. Joseph is, Joseph is praying. Yes. He's praying we get out of this hole. Yes. I go first. I, yes, you go. Then you follow me. Yes. yes. Then you follow. Okay. Then yes. Mr. Charles will follow. Okay. Very course. good. We got to keep Joseph happy. Oh. He's my manager. <laughs> Actually, I will tell you the truth, Jason. I, I've never been like a very cyclist. Yeah. Like, uh, a lot of speed is not like this. Not like this, huh? No, 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 no. It's that straight. This is, uh, this is how we used to do it in the U.S. Uh, 150 years ago. Oh, okay. Just like this. Just like this. Go ahead. So can I look, can I look inside? Yeah, yeah. It's all the balls in there? Yeah, so there's all the balls inside. Oh, wow. See the balls? Yeah. Two different sizes? Or yeah, here they are. Yeah. No. US is, is, is yeah. uh, wow, they're pretty heavy. US is in, in stereo. Big, big oh, bigger, yeah. yeah. There are many of them here. There are two sizes. Yeah. Some are smaller. Yeah. yeah. And some are bigger. Yeah. Don't you see? Yeah. The small one. Okay, okay. Two grand for four. Okay. But the bigger one, and okay. you plant it into this one. Oh, think. okay. From so here, they come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the how they go. So, I can allow The madame is here now. 
So they're loading the ball mill with the crushed ore. This is this is Keith having the time of his life. Keith, are you having the time of your life here? Yeah. Time of your life? Yes. Time of your life. Thank you. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Operator, yeah, okay. He's the this is the operator here? Okay, operator. What's his name? He's called uh, Joseph of the Angle. Joseph. Joseph. Joseph, okay. <laughs> So it looks like a drive shaft out of a truck onto a huge gear. Did this, are these bearings coming off? Right here? No, coming off? Not oh, yeah. seal? Is that okay? Yeah, uh, no. it's okay. Yes. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. That's okay. okay. Well, uh, no, I, not in the States, but uh, I guess it is here. But I mean, that's not gonna, it's not like a bearing pack that's gonna pop out or anything? Probably, yeah. This one. Do I need to do something about that? Uh, new bearings would be good. A new bearing. Okay, so we need a new bearing. Okay. But it's gonna work now. Okay. It's gonna work now. Yeah. But, but yeah, in about next time, maybe. Uh, not, not long. Okay. Not long. Not okay. long. So they have a. Yeah comes down to the big gear, the little gear, big flywheel. Watch the master do it. Master. We are unpacking the Hop and Sun sluices. 
that Keith has brought. He brought them on the airplane to help the miners capture more gold from their gold mining operation. There's the ball mill. There's the shaft that's in the building. There's the women crushing uh, by hand to feed into the ball mill. And this vein runs, uh, averages about 60 to 70 grams per ton of gold. So it's, uh, it's very rich. The shaft goes straight down about 20 feet. And then they've drifted down another maybe 150 feet to intersect the vein. And they've stoped on the vein. Uh, the stope's about 20 feet by 100 feet or so. And it's all single jack. They do use some explosives. These are the tailings ponds here. So we're getting ready to set the sluices up near these ponds. They just finished building these ponds, I think, for the sluices. Okay, I'll go and uh, I'll go and help them set the sluices up. All right, we've just introduced the sluices to the miners here in Kenya, and they have improvised a little header box out of a, a yellow jug, and they're putting their ore and the water in the yellow jug, so it goes down the sluice. And uh, they're not quite using enough water, but we'll go over and show them uh, to use a little more water. And at this mine site, they don't have any sluices. They have to take their ground ore about uh, a mile away to the sluice boxes. So they're very, very happy to have any sluices here. Uh, but the, the sluices that Keith brought uh, are much more efficient than the sluices they're using with the burlap sacks. So the miners are very, very happy. And as you can see, I think the whole town came out to see the sluicing demonstration. So they're very happy and Keith is very happy and, and we're very happy. So I think it was a huge success. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We are looking at this year one. Uh, yeah. From here. Yeah. And so this now is this gold from the sluice box, yeah? From the loose. Yeah. From sluice. sluice. Yeah. Oh. man is not allowed to go inside. Okay. He is still clean. So what did he so? The loose that we have just Oh, done. it is this one. Yeah. This one. Oh, the one you're supposed to put on the throw away. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's the throwaway. It's the throwaway. And this, yeah. and we ran it through the sluice box. And it, yeah, it went through the sluice box, and still we got something. Wow. And it's very, very small gold. Yeah. yeah. And it's really, really fine. So are you are you happy with the sluice box? Very He's very happy with the sluice box. Yeah. I'm taking away the impurities. Yeah, uh -huh. Gold is heavy. It can't come out. No, see. Uh, and so. No more wipes. Don't you see? It comes naturally. It comes naturally. Naturally, yes. So all the gold that comes out of the ground is like that? It's like that. Then we've simply melted it. I have not used mercury here. We have yeah. not used uh, sulfuric acid. It's natural. Now tell me, tell me what this guy's doing down here. He's digging. He's digging down and looking yeah, for a, a reef. Yeah. Okay. And how? He's down what? Five meters? I don't know. Maybe if he dig some uh, feet, like twenty, 
20 feet, okay. You may get a pillar there, down. So from there, we will start mine. And so how does he get out? Hmm? With this, you pull him out with this? Okay, you tie a rope here, like this one. Okay. You use this uh, container. So you do, okay, you put the stuff in the bucket, okay? Yeah. And, and then, then you, you pull. You pull like this. Okay. Then good material come out. Okay, okay, the good material comes out. Yeah. What about him? How does he get out? On In the bucket? Okay, we, we will build some timbers. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. We go and buy some timbers. We build, then uh, we make some steps. Yeah, okay. That he, uh, he will follow when okay. coming out. But how does he get out right now? Right now. Right, like if he wanted to come out now, would you would you put the bucket down and, and you would pull him out in the bucket? No, no, no. How no, does no, he? No. What is he? How does he get out of there? He's just stepping uh, at just the, step wall. On the wall. He just on steps the wall, on the wall. Side, yeah. Uh, on no the kidding. Wall, this side. Yeah. On this side and coming out. No slowly. way. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. And the, but when you when you hit we the vein, you'll do timbers, yeah. Yeah. And then you cl can climb down like a ladder. Yeah. Okay. He's he's way down there. And it's all by hand, yeah, with a hammer and a chisel. Yeah. 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 How long did it take to go this far? Like uh, one week. One week? Yeah. That's one fast. Week, five days. Oh, that's fast. One week, five days. Yeah. Oh, one he's. One week. Three days, I think. You must. You guys are very strong. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And so he's down. the 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 vein is down below somewhere, and you're looking for the vein. Yeah. Okay. There, there is a vein. How much like farther? This, this side. If you look at this side, if you go inside, and you look at this side, uh huh, you will see some veins. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so you've gone down, and you're looking for the best vein. Yes. That is why, if you look at this one. You see some veins inside. Okay, okay. Yeah. I see. But you're looking. You're but you're still going down. Yeah. Okay. We want the, that main one. The main one. Like the main, the one. main one. Yeah, yeah. How big is the main one? Sometimes uh, it can be like one this feet. size. Okay. Or one this feet. size. Or some feet. So it inches. depends. Okay, up yeah. to up to like one or two feet maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty big. Yeah. And how much gold is in the vein? Like 10 grams per, per ton or? 10 grams, five grams, two uh, grams. Oh. Uh, three points. Okay. Yeah. Per, per bag. Yeah. Per bag, okay. Yeah. Okay. So like uh, a good a good bag would have like three grams in it? Three grams, a good bag you can get 10 grams, 50. 10 grams, yeah. oh, a good bag, yeah, yeah. yeah. From 10 to 50 grams. 10 to 50 grams per bag. Per bag. And it's 50 but kilograms per bag. It, it goes up, uh, up to 60, 70. Per bag? Yeah. Aye. Rich, rich. You're very rich. You have lots of money. Like, uh, <laughs> there was a site. There was a site. The other end. Which if you come out with one bag, you get 100 grams. 100 grams yeah. in a bag. Yeah. You can see it in the rock, yeah? yeah? It's all over. Gold is all over. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, I wish you luck. I hope you find 100 grams per bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah. So did you do what, one sack? Yes. One sack. So she's done one sack but down the sluice. It's not good product. It's not very, it's not good. It's not good. There's some sulfides. Looks like she's using carpet here. Maybe, it looks like towels maybe instead of burlap. And the sulfides go all the way down into the bottom. So she just took off her little header box there. And now she will clean out the, the blankets. And just everywhere there's, the women do the sluicing. And they all have these big wash tubs that they're using. Over here's the ball mill. You can hear other ball mills going in the background. Can you tell me how this works? The, the, do the women rent the sluices or who owns the land or? The women also owns the owns, owns the crushers and they run the sluices. The amalgamation of gold it is done by women. 
the roasting of gold is done by women. Okay. The, the great job the men do is to extract the ore from the mine, then it is dried and everything is left for the women. Okay, so the men bring the stuff up from underground? Yeah. And the women pretty much do everything else? Yeah. Okay, but who, like, uh, the women don't own this land, right? The women, the owner of this land is the, the, the woman, and in fact, I, as the chair, I, I am empowering the women okay. to own the shafts. Okay. And the women, when we get them to the mine, we see when they have money, the community has money. Okay, okay. And so, like, the sluice box, like, right, right here, the sluice box, that is owned by the women. Most of the sluice box here are owned by women. Okay. Even and the ponds. The ponds, the wash, the washing ponds, okay. are owned by women. And this is this is um, this is unique in Kenya. Yeah, it is. I know it is unique because you because you are trying to help the women uh, empower themselves. Yeah, because I believe a, a home to grow. There's a woman behind a well developed home. There's a woman behind it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're doing very good work here. Very good work. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yes. We are in the Tenya, Kenyan tea fields, and this is a tea leaf picker. Just the very top. They just picked the very top leaves. The bushes last about 50 years. And every once in a while they come down and trim the tops off so new shoots come back up for new tea leaves. Yes. in a bud. Those two in a bud, like that. Yeah, two in a bud. <laughs> so, okay, Take off like, your hat and pick in the hat. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like this. Yeah, there is, a, there is a certain style of getting them. Hold on, I'm, I'm getting it. See? And like this, leaves. ah, see yeah, like that. Good. Yeah. good? But with two leaves. Two leaves and a, and a little bud. And a little acres <laughs> and acres and acres of tea. So can, so can I can I? As far as the eye can see. Bitter? Maybe I'll get the very These were initially planted by the colonial British, of course, for the tea, and we saw a tea factory that was run by uh, an Indian firm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it's really bitter. <laughs> and down there is yeah, Nairobi town. Just push yourself through. Oh, <laughs> it tastes like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can Very make it Thank you, Asante Tamu. Oh. <laughs> now I'm stuck. I don't know how to get out. <laughs> this way I think. You have the best story. Go like this. Yeah. Yeah. Like me. Um. Right now we're at the Gold Souk in Dubai. And I want to see behind me some of the gold jewelry gold shops. Here is one of the windows in one of these gold shops. Here is some of the gold jewelry in these gold shops. You can see compared to my hand how much gold there is. And all up and down this hallway is all gold shops. It's all different kinds of gold jewelry. So this is one of the pieces in the display and it's massive. Look on the bracelets down there. Yes, yes. That is amazing. All gold. Here is more necklaces. It's amazing to see the gold turned into jewelry because mostly what we see is the raw gold that comes out of the ground. But now they turn it into amazing pieces. This is inside one of the shops and there's just gold everywhere down in the display case. you know when you bought the last one? Yeah. It was two months ago.
It's everywhere. The gold is everywhere. This is amazing. There is kilograms of gold in here. In the gold souk in Dubai. These are solid gold figurines. There's the Dubai Tower in gold. It's amazing. Here's more. There's shop after shop after shop. There must be hundreds, hundreds of shops covered in gold. There's more gold everywhere. We just checked on prices and this gold is 10% over spot value. So 22 karat gold jewelry is only 10% more than the gold in the jewelry. This gold ring behind me weighs 58 and a half kilograms. This woman's dress is completely made out of gold mesh. And there's that 58 kilogram gold piece. That's the most gold in one place I've ever seen in my life. That's over 100 pounds of gold. And all the way down as far as you can see are gold shops. And each shop has kilograms of gold in it. It is amazing. There is more money in this hallway than I have ever seen. All right, guys. Well, that's it for our trip to Kenya. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've got a couple more trips planned this summer back to Africa to check out some more gold mining they have going on there. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. 20% of the world's gold comes from primitive small-scale mining. This supply chain is made up of 10 to 15 million miners, and most use rudimentary methods, including liquid mercury, to obtain their gold. These people come from developing countries where poverty is rampant, and they lack the means to explore alternatives. As they endeavor to support their families, they expose themselves to unhealthy levels of mercury and endure backbreaking work and hazardous working conditions. Better tools and techniques are needed, and that's where we fit in. As experts in small-scale mining technology, we stand to contribute our knowledge of improved mining practices. Our Stop Mercury initiative was conceived with the goal of promoting healthier alternatives to mercury use in gold mining. Through it, we offer free building schematics for improved gravity concentration sluices, how-to videos showcasing chemical-free methods of gold recovery, and technical advice in the transition to mercury-free mining operations. If you'd like to know more about our Stop Mercury efforts, please visit our website or click the subscribe button to receive our newsletter. Thanks so much for watching.